Welcome back to my channel. I apologise in advance if I start sweating in this video. We're currently having a heat wave, which is great, given that last week I had a jumper on and I was freezing. So this is the UK. We don't know what's happening with the weather ever. So today I'm going to be sharing um, an unboxing and just a little look through some of the kitchen items that I've recently purchased. So I've just sort of thought I'll bung them all together into one video um, to show you all the little kitchen play sets and accessories that I've recently got my hands on. So firstly is the kitchen play set. Then we have the kitchen cooking set, loads of little accessories. And finally the kitchen island. So I've got my scissors here. I've got a thing of water because like I said, it's hot <laughs> and we all need to stay hydrated. So let's start off with the kitchen island. I'll just show you the box first. I'm very excited about this mixer, uh, donut maker, scales. That's everything that comes inside. And then on the other side, we've got a couple of pictures. I love as well that there's storage underneath. That's really good. Um, yeah. Often storage in the kitchen is one of those things that's quite hard to come by. Um, particularly in my kitchen. We had this unit added in recently actually to try and sort of put more storage into the kitchen, add some more cupboard space. Oh okay, so there's some stickers that we need to attach here. Um, so obviously on the flap it tells you where to put things. Let's get everything out and we'll have a little look. Oh my god, that mixer looks amazing. Is that everything? Oh, wow, you actually get quite a lot of bits in here. So if I tilt the camera down, then I will show you um, a bit closer what we get inside. There we go. Bring that forward a bit. Hello. Okay, so this is the island itself, obviously. Let's get that out. That will give us somewhere to set everything up. Scissors. Oh wow. It's really pretty. It's really nicely decorated. Love that. The little floral details on the sides here. And of course the pipe piping? Pipe underneath the sink. Love that. I love this detail. It makes it look very sort of country cottage type feel. Let's just pop those bits of cardboard back in the box there. There we go. Get all the plastic out of the way. So there's the island itself. And then we've got a little plastic container with the scales, a bowl, and what looks like some sort of ladle on there. We've got the mixer. I'm very excited about this. Let's get that out. There's the mixer. It's this beautiful pastel pink colour, which will look perfect in the uh, celebration home. Love that. Oh, and the whisk actually turns as well. That's what does it for me for these. It's the attention to detail. So we've got a donut or waffle maker. Um, and you, I believe you put these, yeah. So you've got different plates to choose from as to whether you want to make waffles or donuts. So they just slot in. Let's put one of those in now. I'm not going to set it all up completely. I just wanted to do a little sort of show of what you get. There we go. So you've got the donut plates, which have got little circles on and uh, waffle plates. One is the shape of a house and one is like a flower. And then in here, in this pack, we've got, got the donuts, whoops, and the waffles. So you've got the flower waffle, the house shaped waffle, um, a bag of something and two little donuts. They're so cute, I love them. Oh, it's 
for live. Okay, and in this pack we've got... Do you know what? This is a lot more detailed than I was expecting, actually. So we've got a... Oh, wow, this bowl is so pretty. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on camera, actually, but it's got little, tiny, weeny little flowers embossed all around it. It's like a lace sort of detail, if you can see that. So pretty. Um, a small little bowl with some eggs in it. And I imagine a carton of milk. So like I said, we have got some stickers to put in. Yeah, so we've got the um, the milk sticker, the little, um, what would you call that? It's like a clock face, but it's for the scales. Um, the flower packet. And what's that other thing? I'm not sure what that's for. Let's have a look. It's just plain. Ah, okay. It goes on the bottom of here, on the bottom of the flower. I'm not really sure why that's necessary, but there you go. So I'll put all the stickers on in a bit, but we'll just get those out. Let's open this little um, container as well. Oh, so we've got our ladle. So if you were making pancakes, I suppose, that would be a really good shaped ladle because you could just pour the uh, mixture onto the frying pan. The scales, these move slightly as well, so that's really good. And then a bowl. Now I think this bowl goes under here. So good. But you can also, of course, when you're baking, pop it on there to measure out your flour and then transfer it to your mixer to mix everything up. So that's really good. I love that little set, perfect. And the kitchen island itself is gonna be perfect in those larger kitchens that we have in the bigger homes. So yes, very, very happy with that. Let's leave that there and we'll move on to the kitchen cooking set. So in here, we've got some other great bits loads of different little um, accessories. I'm a big fan of these oven gloves, some more cooking utensils, pots and pans, um, a kettle up here, um, and some little food bits as well. So let's open that up and have a look. Is this sellotaped? Yes. As always, I do try and be careful when opening these things because I don't want to ruin the box, but I also don't want to stab myself. Okay. Oh look, there's a little picture on the side I didn't show you. Obviously that's everything that comes in it. And then there's a mother rabbit getting something out of the oven. I'm not sure what that is, we'll have a look. It looks like some sort of omelet or pizza. Two very different meals, <laughs> but I can't work out which one's which. Okay, so in this box, we have a little brochure, a little catalogue as always. I didn't seem to get one in the, uh, in the kitchen island. That's unusual. Here's the plastic tray that has all of the bits in it. And then in the bottom of the box, we've got this lovely yellow card. I really like the color of that and the pattern on there actually. And attached to that, we've got a little plastic bag Okay, with some baked goods. Oh, actually, that looks like pasta. Let's have a look. These little ones here, they look like um, like filled pasta. And then you've got, I don't know what they are. Maybe like scones or something. Not sure but I do get great enjoyment from popping these out of their little thing. Then maybe it's like a muffin or something because you have got a muffin tray. So we'll get those out. We'll set them over there. And let's get this lid off here. There we go. Okay, so what's this then? Oh, there's a little bit of a little plastic film underneath that. 
I don't know what that is. So it's one of these um, black dishes. You know, if you go into a restaurant and they serve things that come out really hot, it looks, it reminds me of one of those. And it appears to have some sort of, I want to say that's an omelette. It's got a prawn, some asparagus, broccoli, maybe avocado. I don't know. <laughs> it's quite hard to um, work out what sort of food that is, but whatever it is, I'm sure Sylvanians love it. Oh, here we go, look. Oh, why do I keep dropping everything? So under the food, there's another plastic bit of film. So take that off and then I can pop that back on. If you look, you can see that is the pasta that I was talking about before with obviously like a, a tomato -y sauce on top, a little bit of basil on top of that. That is a classic meal in any household. Filled pasta, tomato sauce, basil. Can't go wrong. And then we have a pot here of some sort of stew. This pot is a beautiful colour. I love this green, this sage green. And it's that really soft feeling plastic. Um, again, underneath the, uh, the stew, it pops out, I think. There is a plastic film. Not sure why. Don't know if that's necessary, but we'll peel that off. And the actual stew itself is just a little uh, little insert there. And that goes in there. So you can obviously see there's some carrots, some onions, um, possibly some dumplings. A nice hearty meal. And then we've got the little lid that sits on top of the casserole dish. And that says cooking on it. This reminds me of those... Um, you know, those really expensive cast iron cooking pots. I think they're called Le, Le Creuset or something like that. It reminds me of those, which is very fancy. So we have another, um, and there's another bit of plastic in there, another sort of casserole type dish, but this one's a lot shallower. Matches the other one. Again, it says cooking on the lid, exactly the same texture. Love that. So dependent on what they're making, they've got plenty of equipment to cook it in. The little oven mitts, they're so cute. I love them. I actually got a set of oven mitts with the uh, camper van that I recently got. So that's good. Now I've got two sets. We have a kettle. This is um, one of those sort of kettles that sits on the hob, you know, like the old star ones that aren't plugged into the electrics. Does anyone have one of those anymore? And the lid removes, and this is the same um, sort of texture and color as the two casserole dishes. We have the muffin tray. This is that black sort of cookware type look and feel. There's space for five muffins or cakes which we have five thingies here. Let's pop one out and put it in. Let's do that now. I wasn't gonna do it in this video, but there we go. Not gonna do it all. Oh yeah, it sits just in there. So that could easily be a scone as far as I'm concerned. Could be some sort of muffin as well. Okay, then we've got some of these tongs. In my house, we call these grabbers because I can never remember the name of tongs, but they are tongs. How many times can you say tongs? I don't know. We have a ladle with a hook on it, which I believe you're meant to have to like hook over your pan so it doesn't, so the spoon, oh God. <laughs> As I was saying, oh God, I can't get that back in now. What a nightmare. Fail. Right. This little hook bit, in real life, if you're cooking a stew or something, you would just sit that ladle in and then that hooky bit sits over the lip of your dish and stops the spoon from falling in. No one cares. I don't know why I had to go into detail. <laughs> and then we have a spatula with a hole in it. 
I'm not sure why it's got a hole in it. I'm sure there's some cooking reason as to why you'd have a spatula with a hole in it. We have a salt and pepper shaker. Well, two, one of each. Salt and one of pepper. See quite a few of these in sets, yeah, but they're really good. I also like how actually on the salt, there is only one hole and on the pepper, there's more holes, which is the same in real life. Oh, and then we've got another bit of plastic, another one of these black trays. This doesn't have any holes in it, as you can see, but it comes with these two bits of um, cake, bread? I'm not sure what they are. I'll show you one up close. If it'll focus, maybe. I don't know what they are. But again, I'm sure they are absolutely delicious if you are a small woodland animal living in Sylvania. <laughs> so that's everything we've got in there. I'm just going to set that over to one side. And last up, we've got the kitchen play set. Now, I think I might actually do a different video that goes into a bit more detail about this. So um, let me know if that's something you'd like to see. I will unbox it in this video because that's what I was meant to be doing anyway. Um, so let's get in there. That's the front, over 35 pieces in here, which is again why I thought maybe it deserves its own video because there's loads of little pieces and it might be fun to set that up together. So on the side, there's all the bits that you get in there. Um, so you get the obviously the furniture, the fridge, all of the food, cooking accessories. On the back, there's a couple of pictures of guys in the kitchen and then some more pictures on the side there. I love this fridge drawer, freezer drawer probably. That would be cool to have one of those. So yeah, let's get in there and have a little look. Like I said, I think this is gonna be a bit of a mammoth one in here. So I'm excited to get in. Let's see what we've got. Okay, yeah, so there's a few bits to put together, like the cardboard pieces and stickers to put on things. So let's definitely do that in another video. Oh, okay. Just pop that box over there. If it'll stay there. Okay, I don't know where to start. So we've got the two, um, what are these called? Like kitchen units maybe? Then we've got the fridge. Wow, this is a big, nice big fridge. So in here there's the actual fridge itself and the accessories to go in it. We've got a nice wadge of paper items so little boxes that we fold up um oh my god those vanilla ice cream sandwiches if you've ever had one of those let me know they are amazing um you can get the oreo ones that are like a thin oreo on top and bottom with ice cream sandwich in the middle they're fantastic anyway <laughs> and then we've got other bits in there as well I'll open that up now. Let's just have a quick look at all of these um, paper bits. Okay, so it's one sheet of stickers that have got milk and water, a couple of little um, notices to stick onto the front of the fridge. And then we've got, oh, quite a lot actually, wow. We've got a cake box, a yogurt box, butter, cheese, the vanilla ice cream sandwich that I showed you, which I want one of right now, <laughs> uh, fruit sherbet bar, ice cream, and waffle cone ice creams, like Cornettos. So that's all of those. Wow. This is going to be one well-stocked fridge and freezer with lots of ice cream. Obviously, our Sylvanians like their ice cream. Right, I'm just going to set that cardboard out of the way. So we've got the plastic tray with all of the little bits in it. Um, we've got pots and pans, utensils, a knife, um, and a couple of like pastry dishes um, that you would maybe make like a pie in. So they're really cool. 
I'm not going to open those up, like I say, I'll save that. Then we've got the main bag with the kitchen units in. And what do we have in here? Okay, so we've got the two units and also, oh, look at that lid. A lid for one of the pots, chopping board, um, a couple of tiny little pots and their lid with a very nice little detail on the top there. And I think these are just two little cups. So we'll put those over there. And let's look at the units themselves. Oh wow, I love them. Oh, that's a really interesting drawer. Okay, so this unit has the sink on it. As you can see, it's got this really lovely pattern, um, like floral pattern will go with the kitchen island and all the other um, decorative bits. It's got this lovely scalloped edge and at the top, it's got this decorative sort of shape here. I love that. This is a really handy shelf at the top here. It sort of goes deeper at the back. Um, and then you've got a little shelf here, a hook here, the sink, and under the sink, this is actually a big drawer. So you know some kitchens have those really deep drawers in them to put pots and pans in? That's what I imagine this to be. And of course, underneath you've got the uh, water pipe detail, and there's your inside of your drawer. See, it's a nice deep drawer. And this one is also a drawer, but again, it's a really deep, like long drawer. So this is really cool size. I would imagine if that was my kitchen, do you know what I'd use that for? I'd use that as the bin because I think it's really nice to have a bin that's hidden into the kitchen rather than out on its own. So I'd use that as the bin. Love that. So let's pop that over there. And then the other um, unit that we have is actually the oven or stove or whatever you want to call it. So we've got the hob on top here. Um, we've also got some hooks for some more utensils like our spatulas, spoons, ladles, that kind of thing. If I turn it to the side, you can see it's got this hood here um, for like your extractor or whatever when you're cooking. And then of course we can open the oven and it's a nice roomy oven in there. The shape of this reminds me of like a pizza oven actually. And again, this beautiful detailing all throughout. Love it. Um, the back just looks like that, so it's like um, wooden panels. So I suppose if you wanted to create separation in a room, you could always put these two side by side. Um, and the back isn't, you know, it's not unpleasant to look at. So that's that. Okay. Last bag to open in this set is the fridge. So we'll get that out. Oh wow, it is very big actually. So this is definitely a family sized fridge. Let's have a look at what opens. Wow, so we've got a nice big deep freezer drawer and we've got some shallower drawers here. Well, they're not, they're a little bit shallower but they're obviously a bit smaller as well. So we've got those and then let's open the doors. So inside we've got one shelf and two little, um, what are these called? I suppose they're shelves as well, but they're like a little box almost that you can put things in like uh, bottles of water, juice, milk, that kind of thing, stop them falling about all over the place. So yeah, I really love that fridge. I love as well the detail on the back. That kind of looks like what the back of a fridge would look like. Um, yeah, love that. And it's definitely, like I said, a family sized fridge. And then in here, in this carton, we have got um, an ice tray or some sort of freezer tray, some eggs, a pepper, an apple. Um, what's that? That looks like a little scoop for ice, um, a bottle of water, some little ice cubes and a carton of milk um, and a cucumber. All the essentials that you need in your fridge right here's just a quick look at everything up close so that's the kitchen island set and all of the bits and pieces that came with it and here we've got the kitchen cooking set and all of the bits that came with that and over here we've got the kitchen play set um, these bits here 
So like I said, I will do a video in the kitchen set in more detail once I've got all the bits put together. So I really hope you enjoyed this video looking at some of the kitchen items I've got recently. Like I said, I will do a more detailed video with the kitchen play set because I think that is the one where you really do get everything you need to set up a kitchen and um, that's this one so look out for that soon and in terms of the other bits you can see those in my house when I've got that all set up I will film a little house tour um, I'm planning on I think what I'm going to do is set up the um, deluxe celebration home as one big home and use as much as I can of all of the things that I've got and I can do a little house tour of that. I do also have a cozy cottage house as well separately um, so I might do another separate video on that um, at a later stage. So yeah, let me know if you like this video and um, let me know if there's any others that you would like to see soon. Um, I'm really enjoying sharing my Sylvanian stuff with you so um, I hope that you stay tuned for more videos. Um, I noticed as well, um, just a side note really, I've had quite a lot of views so I'm really really chuffed with that. Um, a lot of people viewing my videos are actually not subscribed so if you wanted to subscribe so you can see more videos when I post them I would be very grateful. So yeah, if you do subscribe, leave me a comment to let me know um, and I will reply to you and yeah, be eternally grateful basically. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up for today and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.